everybody welcome to real vr fishing and this is for the new east coast us dlc we're going to check out the new journey mode just give you a little idea of what this is okay so we got three areas that you can visit we've got the adventure the collection and then environment okay so you, you just choose one of these, go into them, and then as you can see, this is the adventure journey. And you have all these, and we have a long list of uh, adventures that you can go into. You just choose one. And there are different stages. So in the first stage, like for this one here, you go to River, River Han, and you have to catch the snakehead. And then uh, once you can catch that fish, then you get to move on to stage two and then stage three, and then so forth and so on. If you complete it, you get a thousand credits. Okay, so let's go back. And then like, this one here also has five. This one has four stages. And then this one has five, and so forth and so on. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the map here. And we're gonna head on over and check out the beautiful locations for real VR fishing US East Coast. Okay, so our first location is Liberty Island. All right, here we are at Liberty Island. I'm gonna go ahead and stand up and try to just give you a little bit of a panoramic view. Of course, there is the Statue of Liberty. And I'm gonna try not to turn too fast so that you guys can actually see the location. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at some of the fish that you can expect to find at Liberty Island. Of course, we've got the, the octopus, we got the black drum. We have the Atlantic sharp nose shark, which is the rare here. And then here's a new thing that we have, which is called the unique fish. And in this location, the unique fish is the pink tiger shark. But this is a new feature for real VR fishing as a whole, not just for the East Coast DLC. Uh, next, we're gonna move on to Kingston Key. Okay, so here is the beautiful Kingston Key. Bright blue skies with these puffy clouds. Uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and try to just kind of move slowly so that you can uh, get a full view of this beautiful new location. And there we go, all the way back around again. You can see there's some boats and stuff on the beach. But let's get down to the fish. So here we have the pinfish. Now this one is new. We have the spade fish at this location. Everyone's been waiting for though is the great hammerhead shark. And this is the rare in this location. The unique fish here is the orange fin spade fish. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the third location, and that's Beehive Lagoon. And it looks like it looks a little bit like one of our other locations. But beautiful night fishing here. All these stars up in the sky. Looks really cool. And then it looks like someone's got some kind of a bonfire or something going on over there. You can kind of see some of the fish at the top. The little bubbles and swirls. And then if we turn around back this way, you can see all these trees surrounding us back here. Can't stop looking at those stars, so it's really nice. And you can hear that owl hooting in the background. Okay, so we've got the pumpkin fish, pumpkin seed fish, white bass. We've got the lake trout in this area. Our epic is the flathead catfish. And our unique is the golden bullhead. 
Okay, so fourth location is Seaside Park. Okay, so here is a nice view of Seaside Park. See, so got up all these houses surrounding us here. Which is cool. And then you kind of turn this way and then you see the view. That skyline, it's gorgeous. I'll go ahead and turn so that you guys can see all the way around what's behind us. Some more houses. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull up our fish. Okay, so once again, we got the white trout here. We got the trigger fish here. We also have the Atlantic football fish, which is the epic in this location. Again, we've got the Atlantic sharp nose shark here. And then for the unique, we have the red football fish. Okay, so the fifth location is the Hudson River. There we go. Gorgeous view of the buildings along the river here. And again, I'm trying to go kind of slow as I'm turning so that I don't make you all dizzy. <laughs> And some more buildings over this way. It's just a really cool spot to fish in. Okay, so let's pull up the fish and see what kind of fish we got in this location. Got the white crappie. Got the white catfish here, uh, the Atlantic sturgeon, and our unique is the blue crappie. And then of course we got the flathead catfish again as our epic in this location. Okay, so now let's head on over to Hancock Beach. Nice, beautiful sandy beach. And got the houses along the side there. Another gorgeous view out on the open ocean with the sun setting down here. Or rising. Looks like someone drew a circle in the sand. It's got a nice glow to this location. Okay, so fish. Uh, spotted sea trout in this location. And then we have the platinum Creval Jack as the unique. And then we also have the Creval Jack. And we have the spiny dogfish, which is the rare in this location. Okay, so number seven. We have Sunday Pond. Look at that view. This is a nice peaceful little fishing spot here. So much bird activity you can hear. And then you can see like right over there, we got some cranes. And this beautiful forest kind of looks like something out of Twilight. And we got some more cranes over here. Looks like he's like bathing in the water or something. But still, this is a really cool, peaceful spot. Okay, let's look at the fish. Again, we got the pumpkin seed sunfish. We got the red breast sunfish. We have the muscalunge. The blue catfish, which is our epic here. And the silver bass is the unique fish in this location. 
Okay, let's move on to eight, which is Rehoboth Beach. And here we go. See all the snow on the ground. A couple minutes, you'll see the snow will start to fall. Looks like some cold waves coming in. Yep, there goes the snow. I don't know if you can see it. And then we got some buildings over here. Some over there makes me think of food. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm hungry. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the fish here. Try not to click on all the same ones, but uh, here we have the stubby squid, which is the epic. We've got the small toothed sand tiger shark. And our unique is the white stubby squid. Okay, and next we're going to go on to Naragansup Bay. I don't know if I pronounced that correct, but... Let's go ahead and head on over. Okay, so here's another beautiful location. It's like a house or something here behind us. Kind of boats or something on the side of the beach there. This one here's got pebbles on the beach instead of your normal sand. We got the bridge up here. Just kind of keep turning a little bit just to show you the rest. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what fish we got here. I know there's one here that people are going to be excited about. Let's see. Let's see, we got the black drum. And the nurse shark. And the golden back tarpon is the unique here. Some of these are the same as the other locations. Okay, number 10 is Lake Martin, and this one has a view to die for. Okay, I'm going to start off going this way. Got a beautiful tree line here. Yeah, the view's that way. And just kind of Looks like there's a dock or something over there and over there. Got some ducks over here in the water. And then as we turn this way, we got all these beautiful trees. It's just like a canopy over us, which is really cool. And then slowly as I move this way, you're about to see that gorgeous view. Some kind of a house over there. And there's the view. Such a beautiful view. Like I could just sit here and not fish and just stare at that view. But let's go ahead and check out the fish. Okay, we have the grass pickerel. And we have the hybrid striped bass. I don't even know if I can pronounce that one. Mozambique tilapia. We've got the alligator gar and the monster spotted bass. Okay, so one last look at that view. <laughs> okay. And now we're going on to Daytona Beach. Looks like we got like a little food vending cart over here on the beach. And of course, the view of the ocean. Got some buildings over here, probably like hotels and stuff. 
Got cars parked up on the beach. Got that Jeep right there. I think I'm going to go take off on that one later. <laughs> okay, you can see the tire tracks all on the beach. Where people are doing donuts or something. Let's go ahead and check out our fish. Again, we got the pinfish here. We got the African Pompano. I don't know if I pronounced that right. This one here is in a couple of locations, but it's the Warsaw Grouper and the Goliath Grouper. Once again, we got the stubby squid, we got the great American hammerhead here, and the cobalt scrawled filefish is the unique fish here. And next location is the Central Park Pond. Who would have thought that you could find a beautiful pond like this right in the middle of New York? And my worm is trying to get away, I think. But here's our cityscape right here. In the middle of this beautiful little pond. Got all these fall colored leaves here, the bridge. Got some fish in there. You see the little path that goes up to the bridge. Little park benches all around. I'm standing on some rocks. This be a nice cool spot just to hang out. Okay, let's go ahead and pull up the fish. Let's see, we've got the, the Jack Dempsey here. The Chattahoochee Bass. And the unique is the albino catfish. Of course, we got the blue catfish here as well as the epic. Okay, so the 13th location, we got three more. And we are going to the Brooklyn Bridge. Check out this view. Not exactly quiet, but still a cool spot to fish in. Everything all lit up. Okay, let's just go ahead and just do this little panoramic view again if I can. Not move too fast. Got like this little carousel behind us. Okay, so let's check out the fish in this location. Got the spotted sea trout here again. And we've got our Atlantic football fish again as the epic, our spiny dogfish, the black drum, the red drum, and then for our unique, we have the crimson drum. Okay, let's, oops, I almost clicked on the wrong thing. Our next location is Jeanette's Pier. Now this is a very beautiful spot. Look at that. I'd love to fish off the edge of this pier actually. And then got that little, uh, goes right up to this building here. I'm thinking breakfast, waffles, something. That's what I think of when I see that place. <laughs> okay. Got this gorgeous scenic view here. And then as we turn, looks like there's like a little hotel or something there. Got some buildings. Looks like we got some seashells down here on the beach.
And let's see, the fish that we have in this location, again, is the pinfish, the groupers, the red snapper. But here, we have the black tip shark, and that's the rare in this one. And the leucistic black tip shark. I don't know if I can pronounce that correctly. But that is our unique in this spot. Final location is Niagara Falls. So here we are at the bottom of the Niagara Falls. Just trying to give you that view. And here are the falls up here. Beautiful view of the waterfalls. And then I don't know if you can see it, but there's even more bigger waterfalls back this way. Okay, but that's our panoramic view here at the bottom of the Niagara Falls. And our fish. Again, we got the Jack Dempsey again. Let's see. Anything here? Rock bass. The lake sturgeon is here. The blue catfish is here again. And then we have the red bellied lake sturgeon here, and that's the unique in this location. Okay, so there's all 15 new locations for the U.S. East Coast DLC. Uh, if you're watching this, Head on over to the store. Okay, hope you enjoyed that little tour of the new East Coast DLC. Got some of my fish in the tank over here. Some of the new ones, some of the ones from the other DLCs are in there. But okay, let's go ahead and head outside. Okay, so as I'm filming this, this is still actually in the beta testing phase. But if you're currently viewing this video, that means that it has been released to the MetaQuest store. So be sure to head on over and purchase the new U.S. East Coast DLC so you can come and fish in these awesome locations. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see y'all soon.